We're here with George Palmer Putman, Jr., the stepson of the famous Amelia Earhart. Mr. Palmer, would you please share with us some personal aspects of your life? Also, tell us about your World War II experiences. I understand you were born in May of 1921, correct? Correct. Okay. And where were you born? In Porchester, New York. Porchester, New York, okay. Uh, how well did you know your stepmother? I mean, you know, did you spend a lot of time together? When yes. You, were younger? you did? Okay. Yes. Uh, how well did you know your stepmother? I think quite well. She and I got along good. What type of relationship did you have with her? Well, she was the boss, of course, so I did what she told me to do. We're well, looking at the Crayola. Oh, the yeah. Original so that's a Benny and Smith. You, 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 you use crayons yourself, I'm sure. That was the company. My, that was on my mother's side. Yes, they're, they're not, not, not necessarily the first ones, but I don't know why I have that picture. But there was, there was always things you had to go to. A bazaar, or, or we're going to try to sell some in Morocco or foreign countries. Yeah. She was she was familiar with those. She had to be, because that, that, that the crayons paid uh, uh, furnished a lot of the cash to buy the things you need, and none of them were cheap. How old were you when you went in the military? When I went in the military, I think I was 18. About the right age and the size and shape that was needed in those days. Were you drafted or did you enlist? I volunteered. What about when you were torpedoed? What did you do? I shook. <laughs> <laughs> did the ship sink or...? No, no. We, we were torpedoed a big hole in the side of the ship. You could probably drive a truck through it. And we were close to Gibraltar, so we went to His Majesty's Royal Dockyard in Gibraltar where they could patch that up enough so we could get, the, get back to the States. Oh, okay. So we were all, no one was hurt. What was the name of the ship, do you remember? That was the name of the ship, it was Housatonic. It was a tanker. All these campaigns required lots of fuel, and so every campaign always had tankers along to refuel your ships at sea. We were very good at that. Did you go to the Pacific? Yeah, I was in the Pacific campaign too. The Philippine campaign, and Lady and Guan, and that uh, invasion when MacArthur said, I shall return. Well, he did return to the Philippines. I saw that. What was it like? A busy, busy time. I mean, you're busy. The Japanese are trying to shoot you down, and you're trying to shoot them down. So it's a busy time. 